We spoke a bit until now about the wave principle and what it can do. Let's take a step back into time and see why this trading technique intrigued so many people. We are not going to go in depth with his entire history. Instead, we are going to focus on the main aspects. So first things first, who was this man? Ralph Nelson Elliott was an American accountant who in the early 30s studied 75 years worth of stock market data, mostly indexes, from yearly and all the way down to the 30 minute charts. He discovered that the stock market did not move randomly and chaotically as it was believed then, and that it actually followed natural laws which could be measured and predicted by using the Fibonacci sequence, or golden ratio. Basically, he noticed that prices unfolded in specific patterns. He developed this amazing analytical tool in the 1930s and then later on, in 1938, he published his theory of market behavior in the book entitled The Wave Principle. Elliot was a genius. He got his inspiration by understanding the Dow theory and got to a point where he could measure and predict significant stock market emotions and huge moves. He understood the mechanics of trends and counter trends and saw that Charles Dow the founder of modern technical analysis was indeed right. Elliot implemented his own thoughts and created a masterpiece, resulting in his unbelievable and accurate predictions for the later to come stock market crash. His theory intrigued many, especially after the book with the same name, The Wave Principle, was published in 1978, when Elliot's discovery was rescued from obscurity. So you see, even after more than 80 years, this amazing theory and pattern is still being used these days by hundreds of thousands of traders and investors worldwide. What, why and how? When setting goals, it is a must to ask these three questions. So far we covered the what in the Elliott Wave explanation. The why is pretty simple. Wave traders use this technique in order to trade better or successfully and to generate a certain profit or consistency. But how? That, my fellow traders, is the million dollar question. The answer lies within the course. Let's move on. There are three main rules that Ralph Nelson Elliott put his accent on which are the following. Impulse wave 3 can never be the shortest wave. Wave 2 can never retrace beyond the start of wave 1. Wave 4 can never cross into the same price area as wave 1. These rules, just like all rules in general, are bent sometimes, so don't be afraid to think outside the box and question everything. What I would suggest is that when one of these three rules are broken, then a review needs to be done for the wave count. With that being said, next we're going to go over some important bullet points to be treated as guidelines when using wave analysis. There are two choices that one can make when applying the Elliott Wave Theory on his, her charts and when counting the waves, simple and advanced. The simple technique implies counting the waves normally without any solid understanding but focusing only on the key reversals and the advanced implies going more technical and recognizing the impulsive or corrective structure type. We will start with a simple approach and then move towards the advanced one and expand our trading senses. For now, we're only going to take a first look, a quick look at the structure so that we could know how they actually appear on the charts. Now, don't be afraid if the slides continue. I will make sure that we will go over each and every one of these patterns later on. Impulsive or motive waves come in three forms, extensions, ending and leading diagonals. Corrective waves, however, they come in five forms, zigzag, flat, triangle, double and triple freeze. 